Alpha, Omega, Ageless, O Changeless, Reliable, Jehovah, Glorious God, I bow before your throne. Your name is Alpha, Omega, Ageless, O Changeless, Reliable. Good evening, sisters. Thank you so much for joining in tonight. Can I ask that you please go ahead and share the videos so that other people will be able to join us. It's wonderful to be back um, on Mom's altar and to be praying tonight. I'm trusting the Lord that tonight we're going to be handling some specific prayer points. Sincerely, I got too excited when the Lord started to instruct me what we will be praying on tonight. And I'm trusting the Lord that he will help us to pray right in the mighty name of Jesus. So as many people as are joining us tonight, can you please go ahead and just share the video, share the link on your wall, WhatsApp, wherever it is that you have friends who you know would have access to Facebook. And the Lord will help us even as we pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to thank you for tonight. We want to give you praise for the privilege we have even to pray once again. Thank you, Father, for the destinies of these children that you have committed to us. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, because you have created them for a purpose and you have put us in this purpose that we may walk with you to achieve greatness in the lives of our children. We bless you, Lord, because whatever we pray tonight, we know that we're praying the mind of God through for our children. We bless and exalt your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Sisters, I just want to share with you very quickly from Genesis chapter one. I was reading through the scripture and you know what fascinated me in that scripture was that the Bible says that God made man in his own image. God made us in his own image and in verse 26 it was talking about you know the purpose of the making. The purpose of the making is to dominate, is to have dominion and I thought the way the Bible arranges things, it makes it easy for us to fall in line with the will of God. A lot of people say, I don't know the will of God. Find something in the scripture. Go ahead and search the Bible and you will see the will of God there. Why did God create us? To have dominion. So in order for you to have dominion, you have to be in the likeness and image of God. And that is the solution. You do it God's way, you get God's result. So tonight we're going to be spending the first two, three minutes. We're going to be praying that prayer for her children. The first prayer point is that Father God will make mold our children in the image of God. You will join forces with God tonight and you will say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I mold my children in your image. I make them fall in line with the purpose for which you have created them. Because no child, no adult can prosper on the surface of this earth without being connected to the purpose of God. You're going to pray tonight and you're going to decree and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree that my son is in line with you. I mold my son in line with your purpose. I mold my daughter in line with your purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not walk out of your will. They will not walk out of your purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus, because you will not have a reason why you created them. Father, I decree tonight, in the name of Jesus, I mold my son in the image of God. Every image that has been put before my son, every image that is standing before him right now, that is not connected with your will, that is not connected with your purpose, that is not connected with the destiny that you have for my son, I remove them from his path. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree the same for my daughter tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, every image that is molded, every image that is standing before my daughter, that is not in line with your word, that is not in accordance with your purpose, in the name of Jesus tonight, I pull them asunder. I remove them in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed. 
The Bible says, let us make man in our own image. A, a man fulfilling purpose, a man having dominion. They've got to be in the image of God. Decree tonight and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree my children are in line with your image. In the mighty name of Jesus, I tell you, my sisters, there are some parents you can be a witness with me. The image you are seeing in front of you is not consistent with the will of God. You are going to pray tonight and say, daughter, in the name of Jesus, you are not wayward. You are made in the image of God and you will live according to the image of God in the mighty name of Jesus every image that is exalted in the life of my daughter in the life of my son that is not consistent with the word of God with the will of God that is not progressing towards dominion in the name of Jesus tonight I pull you down I pull you asunder in the mighty name of Jesus I say my children you will walk you will fulfill even the purpose of God in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed you know, the beautiful thing about image is that the image should portray exactly what the original is. That's why they ask you to bring a photocopy. The photocopy has to look like a very viable form of the original. Because of this, our children are formed in the image of God. We are formed in the image of God. We carry the genes of God in us. And whatever God can do, we can do. Our children can do. So tonight you are going to pray and say, Father, everything that makes you you, that you are putting inside me, you are putting inside my children. Tonight I decree that lifestyle, which is a lifestyle of dominion, I receive for my children. In the name of Jesus, from tonight I decree, Lord God Almighty, because your gene is inside me, is inside my my daughter is inside my son father there was nothing you wanted to do that you could not do father in righteousness i decree tonight everything that you have created my daughter to be everything you have created my son to be tonight in the name of jesus i decree they are fulfilling their purpose in the name of jesus there is nothing impossible with you father there shall be no righteous thing that is impossible for my children in the name of jesus i stand on the altar of prayer tonight and I decree, because the gene of the Almighty is in my children, because the gene of the Almighty is in my son, I decree regarding you, son, nothing shall be impossible for you. In the name of Jesus, as the Lord speaks and the earth trembles, I decree in the name of Jesus, as you speak, the earth will tremble at your voice. In the name of Jesus, I speak regarding you, my daughter. In the name of Jesus, as the Lord speaks, so it became. I decree regarding you, my daughter, every righteousness that you turn your mouth into, every greatness you turn your mouth into, in the name of Jesus, I decree express passage for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. You are going to pray right now. You are going to decree regarding your children and say, my children, I call you by name and I decree in the name of Jesus because the reason why you are created is for dominion. I decree in every aspect of your life, you will experience dominion. You will not be a victim of life in any ramification. In the name of Jesus, I decree regarding you, my son. I decree regarding you, my daughter, from tonight. It doesn't matter where you have experienced disappointment and failure. In the name of Jesus, I decree from tonight. I receive for you dominion. In the name of Jesus, you will overtake, you will pursue, you will recover all. In the name of Jesus, I receive for you dominion. Ability to overtake, ability to dominate every territory that the Lord has given to you. In the name of Jesus, I say nothing that you stretch your hands towards in righteousness shall be withheld from you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. My dear sisters, I read through this particular scripture that I'm about to share today and sincerely it excited me. The reason it excited me is because the Bible says, as he is in heaven, so are we in this world. And when I thought through that scripture, as God is in heaven, so we are in this world. As Jesus was when he came, so are we in this world. As he is in heaven, so are we in this world. And I started to dissect that scripture. And I started to look at the story of the birth, the conception of Jesus. And I thought, Jesus Christ, if only some of us women know these things, we will stop to, to struggle. We will know how to arrange our children. We will know how to arrange their path in life. Come with me to Luke chapter 2. I'm going to be reading from verse 8 to 20. It's a bit long, but I think we need to understand it. The Bible says the sh there were shepherds camping. In the neighborhood, I'm reading from the from the message version. They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly, God's angels stood amongst them, and God's glory blazed around them. 
They were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A savior has just been born in David's town. A savior who is Messiah and master. This is what you are to look for. A baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. At once, the angels were joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights. Peace to all men and women on earth who please him. As the angel choir withdrew into heaven, the shepherds talked it over. Let's go over to Bethlehem as fast as we can and see for ourselves what God has revealed to us. The Bible says they left running and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger, seeing was believing. They told everyone they met what the angels had said about this child. All who heard the shepherds were impressed. Mary kept all these things to herself, holding them dear, deep within herself. The shepherds returned and let loose, glorifying and praising God for everything they had heard and seen. It turned out exactly the way they had been told. My dear sisters, I read the story. And then I read the story of how the birth and the conception of Jesus was announced to Mary. And the Lord helped me to see some things in that scripture. The Bible says, as God is, so are we in this world. As Jesus was when he came, so are we in this world. So exactly what are we supposed to do? Our life is supposed to be shaped along that which I have just read in the Bible. You know what happened? The savior of the world, Jesus Christ, was going to be born. And Mary had the information. Mary was informed. What did God do? God announced the birth of his son. As mothers, we have the ability to announce the birth of our children. I'm not talking about the children that have already been born. Those of you who are yet to get pregnant, yes, you can announce. But mothers, our duty is to announce the birth of our children. Mary made an announcement. Mary helped Jesus to make an announcement. Tonight, we're going to be laying some foundation again. You are going to be praying. Because what God the Father did in the first instance, God chose a worthy vessel to bring Jesus through. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're a man or a woman, you need a worthy helper. You need people who can pull your hands up. You need people who can say, we are going to help you. We're going to stand. We're going to bring this vision through. Mary was available. God found a, a, a source that was without stain. You are going to pray tonight and say, Father, the same way you found Mary for Jesus, the same way you found a worthy helper, the same way you found a venue, the same way you found a channel for, the, for Jesus to come through, tonight I begin to order worthy helpers for my children. In the name of Jesus, I begin to allocate my children to great destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus, I begin to allocate my children to destiny helpers that will carry their vision to time, that will carry them through life. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who will not miscarry their pregnancy, they will not miscarry the pregnancies of their future, they will not miscarry the pregnancies of their destinies. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, the same way you found a worthy carrier, even for Jesus in Mary. Father, tonight, I begin to find worthy carriers for my children. In the name of Jesus, people who will assist them, people who will support my children, people who will stand by them, in the name of Jesus, until the result is received, until the result is achieved. Father, I allocate to my son, worthy helpers. In the name of Jesus, people who will stand by him, people who will carry even his vision to them. In the name of Jesus, I allocate my son to them. I allocate them to my son. In the name of Jesus, tonight I begin to allocate destiny helpers to my daughter. In the name of Jesus, people who will help my daughter, people who will hold her by the hand, people who will take her to the promised land. In the name of Jesus, I allocate to my daughter. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You know what happened with Mary? Her beginning was pure. Her journey was preserved. And her end was rewarding. 
That was what happened to Mary. You're going to pray tonight and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I allocate to my son a, a pure beginning. In the mighty name of Jesus, even his wife, his future wife, I allocate her a pure beginning. In the mighty name of Jesus, I think the journey through life shall be preserved. The journey through life shall be easy. In the name of Jesus, they shall have a rewarding life. They shall have a fulfilling life. I pray the same for my daughter tonight. In the name of Jesus, I say, my daughter, you have a pure beginning. You have a rewarding end. In the name of Jesus, the journey in between shall be peaceful for you. It shall be preserving for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Sisters, one of the things that God did was that God gave Mary information ahead of time. God gave Mary an information and said, the seed you are carrying, this is who you are carrying. You are going to pray right now and say, Father, I receive for my children. I receive for myself. Open ears to information in the mighty name of Jesus. Every information that will be given to other people should only be a confirmation. You're going to pray tonight and say, Father, release to me information about my children, about the seeds I've carried. In the name of Jesus, I receive information. I receive open ears. In the name of Jesus, by the time the shepherds came with information, Mary already had information. There's a lot of confusion in the world these days. Hey, prophets are speaking. Mothers have no clue. That is why there is confusion. You're going to say, Father, before you speak to anybody else about my children, let me be the first point of contact. Let me be the woman whose ears will be open. Let me be the one whose eyes will be open. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I receive from my children. I receive Lord God Almighty. Information supplied and released to me. In the name of Jesus, I receive information ahead of time. I receive information ahead of time. In the mighty name of Jesus, regarding my children, regarding where they are going, regarding what they will do. Father, I receive insight. I receive open ears. I receive open eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, this is my prayer tonight. Regarding my children, I will have information. I will know where to go. I will know how to go. In the name of Jesus, nothing will happen to them without prayer notice, without me knowing about it. Father, every step in life, every step, Lord, primary school, secondary school, university, even by the time they leave my house and they get employed, they get getting married. Father, I receive prayer information, prayer knowledge regarding my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. My dear sisters, you can never and you should a child from learning. A lot of us parents, we overprotect our children. We don't give them the opportunity to learn great things in life. Do you know what, my sisters? A lot of us understand abuse to be beating a child and smacking a child. You not correcting a child is a form of abuse. If you didn't know that before, you should know it now. For you to not be able to give a child a, a boundary and say you must not go beyond this, that is a form of abuse. You are exposing them to danger. You are going to pray tonight. Do you know what God did to Jesus? God brought him out in a manger. God gave him a simple beginning. God gave him an opportunity to taste what others will taste. There are some leaders, you see them today, they have no idea what their followers are going through because they started from high up there. When you tell them, I have this kind of a problem, they say, deal with it. The Bible says that with the same comfort with which you have been comforted, you can comfort others. As a leader, you need to have basic experience about what your, your followers are going through. Jesus Christ started from a small place. Jesus Christ started from a manger. He didn't remain there, but he started from there. You're going to pray tonight and say, Father, I am receiving tonight wisdom to expose my children to lessons that will make them great. Father, I receive in the name of Jesus wisdom to expose my children, wisdom to expose them to the right circumstances, wisdom to expose them to lessons in life that they will need to get to their great places. I receive for them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I see the ability to expose my children to the things they need to learn from. In the name of Jesus, I receive for them tonight. I receive tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, the situations in life that will expose my children to greatness, that will get them ready for greatness. Father, I expose them to it in the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. My dear sisters, God announced the birth of Jesus to those that matter. Those that matter. Those that matter. Those that are key. You're going to pray tonight. 
I say, Father, in the name of Jesus tonight, I pray that you begin to announce my children to them who will bring them great gifts in life, to them who will enable them, to them who will surround them, to them who will bless them. Father, begin to announce my children tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, begin to bring my children even to the attention of those who will support them through life, of those who will help them, of those who will assist them, of those who will favor them. Father, I begin to align my children in for help in the name of Jesus in every aspect of, of life in the name of Jesus those who will help them in the university those who will help them in secondary school those who will help them in their career father begin to announce my children tonight in the name of Jesus begin to make people fall in line along the path of my children's life those that my children will need father align them with my children in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed my sisters I got really excited as I told you reading that scripture. The Bible says that the angel gave clear instruction. Let's go back to that scripture again. The angel said to them, he says, this is what you are to look for. This is what you are to look for. And the angel now went ahead and explained. He says, a baby wrapped in a blanket, lying in a manger. A baby wrapped in a blanket. Lying in a manger. Very, very clear description. Very clear. You are going to pray tonight and say, Father, I receive for my children a clear description in life. I receive for my children a clear description in life. When somebody is bringing you good, they need to know where they are going. If there are 15 men wearing a white shirt, there must be a description for my son. If there are 15 ladies that are riding a particular car, there must be a clear description for my daughter. So that the good that is meant for her will not be given to another. You are going to pray tonight and say, Father, I receive clear description of my children in life. They will be outstanding. They will be outstanding in every way in the name of Jesus. Those that will bring my children good. Father, you will give them clear description of my children in the name of Jesus. As my son is going through life in the name of Jesus, those that will help him. Father, you will give them clear description in the name of Jesus. As my daughter is going through life, those that will help Power, you will give them clear description in the name of Jesus. There will not be a confusion as to the help our children will receive in the name of Jesus. The same way the angel gave clear description about the baby. He said you will see the baby wrapped in a blanket in a manger. At that time in life, there were no two babies wrapped in a, ma in, in a blanket in a manger. Father, I receive tonight clear instruction for the helpers of my children to locate my children in the name of Jesus. I say there shall be no confusion. My children's helper, you will find it clear to find him, to find them in the name of Jesus. You will find it clear to locate my children. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. You are going to pray tonight. The Bible says that the angels of the Lord gave clear description and the announcement was that joy to the world. When there is some kind of announcement, everybody knows they have to clear. You know, in the UK, when when an ambulance is coming, you don't need to see it. You just need to make way. You need to make way. The reason you need to make way is because whatever is making the ambulance to blow the siren, there is something that makes you give way. You're going to pray tonight and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I begin to disarm every opposition. I begin to this harm every opposition every contrary announcement in the name of jesus i begin to calm the hearts of many before my children arrive in the name of jesus i calm the hearts of many in the mighty name of jesus i say my children you will have a clear passage in the name of jesus because joyful announcement will precede you joyful announcement will precede you my daughter joyful announcement will precede you my son in the name of jesus the lord will announce you the lord will go before for you with a joyful announcement with a joyful sound in the name of jesus they that oppose will have no choice but to give you way in the name of jesus they that oppose will have no choice but to give you access in the name of jesus i receive for you my children i say clear passage in the name of jesus whether they know you or they do not know you i say the world will answer you at your time of passage because the lord will announce you before time in the mighty name of jesus we have prayed. <laughs> that particular scripture says, the angel said, this child will be a savior. 
There are titles that cannot be contaminated. Let me tell you something. Some of our, the people we know who were in office, they were in political office, they were in sorts, all sorts of offices. A while after they leave office, that title is contaminated. Why? Because there are lots of silly discoveries being made about them. Somebody was once a chief of army staff or whatever it is, and the next thing, they found that whilst he was in office, he was, he was involved in corruption. That title is contaminated. You are going to pray tonight and say, Father, a title that cannot be contaminated. I receive for my children a testimony that will last in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, a savior, a savior, the savior of the world. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus, I receive for my children a unique and befitting title. In the name of Jesus, one that cannot be contaminated, one that cannot be degraded, one that cannot be degraded, one that cannot be insulted. I receive for my children in the mighty name of Jesus, a presentation, a title, a celebration that will last the test of time. I receive for them in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, my children, you are celebrated at every time, at every step of your life. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, you will not experience a better yesterday. In the name of Jesus, your glory will not turn to shame. But the power in the name of Jesus we have prayed. We're going to pray, my dear sisters, because we know in the process of announcement, enemies will come. In the process of announcement, enemies will just make themselves available. Have you ever wondered in life, somebody hasn't done any harm, but people just choose to hate them. It is all right. You cannot go through life without people hating you. I remember a prayer that Pastor Banker prayed for me several years ago in one of the TPJ conferences. And she just mentioned it very in a very gentle manner. And she says, oh, Mobola, you are beginning to get some kind of negative attention. There is no how you would do it. Some people look at you and they say, no, no, no. Why is she doing that? Why is she happy? Why is she doing this? Why is she the one doing this? It's bound to be like that in life. You are going to pray tonight and say, Father, Lord God Almighty, I begin to pray right now for every level of greatness that you give my children in life. I pray you will throw them into limelight that wickedness will not be able to quench them. In the mighty name of Jesus, wickedness will not be able to quench my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, wickedness will not be able to subdue them. In the name of Jesus, Father, I'm aware. Even Jesus, as lovely as he was, the Savior of the world, there were people that hated him. There were people that wanted him dead. But Father, Lord God Almighty, I pray tonight, wherever my children go in life, no matter the level they reach, in the name of Jesus, I decree, Lord God Almighty, the enemy will not have any reason to be joyful over them. In the name of Jesus, I decree, Lord, the evil one will have no reason to be joyful regarding my children. In the name of Jesus, hey, the Bible says, he prepares a table before me in the presence of of my enemy. Father, we decree regarding our children tonight. It doesn't matter who the enemy is. We decree our children are in limelight. They are experiencing joy. They are experiencing dominion. They are experiencing success. Unlimited. In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter whoever has chosen to make them a, an enemy. In the name of Jesus. Tonight I decree my children you are moving forward. You are growing and you are becoming great. Even in the face of opposition. In the name of Jesus. We have prayed. We're going to pray. My dear sisters, the same way the angel instructed the shepherds and gave them clear instruction. Herod had information. Pharaoh had information. There are people who will have information about the greatness of your children. You are going to pray tonight and say, Father, Lord God Almighty, every great thing that is addressed to my children, Father, will meet them in good health. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I only receive good description, descriptions for good for my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil description, Father, I cancel tonight. In the name of Jesus, every evil description, I cancel tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Do you know what? I was discussing with my son over the weekend, and he mentioned to me, he said, Mom, this is my current school. Before I got there, the people from my previous school already informed my current school who I am. They told the school, this is who this boy is. This is who he is. This is who his parents, these are his parents. This is what they do. This is what they believe in. That is a description. Some particular children, before they enter a school, information has gone ahead of them. Do you know the kind of information? They said this one is a hooligan. They said this one punched the head of teacher. They said this one killed another child. 
those are the kind of information that can go be before a child. You are going to pray tonight and say, Father, only good descriptions will go ahead of my children. Only good descriptions will go ahead of my family. Only good descriptions will go ahead of my husband. Only good descriptions will go ahead of me. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. You are going to pray right now because it doesn't matter what we say. It doesn't matter what we do. There are people who will seek to do harm. You are going to pray right now and say, Father, I throw confusion right now into the hearts of many who choose and desire and seek to do my children harm. I put confusion into their heart. I say they will not be able to achieve even that which they choose to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, every man, every woman, every man, every woman, born by a woman, in the name of Jesus, that may seek now or that is going to seek in the future to do my children harm, to do them evil. In the name of Jesus, Father, I brought confusion in their hearts. In the name of Jesus, they will not understand whether they are going forward or they are going backward. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, tonight I throw confusion into their midst and I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, they will not have peace to do that which their heart desires to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. We're going to pray right now. A while ago, I shared a story with us about a particular lecturer in Nigeria. In the days when traveling abroad was big thing, I'm telling you, this particular lecturer, his work was, was appreciated all over the world. They invited him to the United States for them to honor him. His letter got to the university where he was lecturing. And there was another gentleman who had the same initial, who has the same name. The letter was delivered to the wrong man, and the man who deserved the honor failed because he did not even know that a letter had been written for him. You are going to pray tonight and say, Father, the good that is addressed to my children will not wander into the arms of another. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I decree tonight the good that is meant for my children, the good that is preserved for my children, the good that is directed at my children, the good that is labeled with my children's name will not be directed, will not be diverted into the hands of another. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Ah, my dear sisters, when the enemy wants to attack, he looks for you in places where he thinks he can find you. The Bible says that the angel said, a king will be born. A savior will be born. A boy of influence will be born. Where would you look for such a person? You go and look for them in big hospitals, in posh hospitals, in government hospitals that are well equipped. You go and look for them in the palaces. That is where you look for them. You don't look for them in a manger. You are going to pray tonight and say, Father, I pray tonight, everyone that will seek to destroy my children, every arm that will seek to waste my children, every eye that will seek to condemn my children, every tongue that will speak to condemn my children, Father, I send them to the wrong places in the name of Jesus. I divert them to the wrong places in the mighty name of Jesus. I divert them to the wrong places in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, hide my children in unexpected places, away from destruction, away from wasted, in the name of Jesus, away from the eyes of they that seek to destroy. Father, hide my children in unexpected places. Hide my children where the enemy will least expect them to be. Hide my children where you will keep them until the time of glory will come. Hide my children, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hide my children, hide my children, hide my children, Lord, in the name of Jesus, where the enemy least expects to find them. In the name of Jesus, in a place that is secure, in a place that is secure, in a place that is secure, away from destruction, away from destruction, away from they that waste in the name of Jesus we have prayed. The Bible says in Luke chapter 2, verse 17, it says, As soon as the angels gave the shepherds the news, there was a unanimous declaration that joy had come. You're going to pray tonight and say, Father, wherever my children will get to, their progress will be a unanimous decision. I silence every opposition from tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I silence every opposition. I silence every opposition against my children's future, against my children's success in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, any opposition to their success, I silence. In the name of Jesus, every opposition to my children's allocation, I silence. In the name of Jesus, every opposition to my children's progress, I silence. In the name of Jesus, every opposition to my children's development, I silence. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, I say no tongue, no tongue, no tongue that will wait, no tongue that will pull my children down will be available. In the name of Jesus, I them away to a place where they will be fully occupied. They will have no chance to attend. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. See what happened. After the angels left, the Bible says, the shepherds talked it over and they agreed within themselves. Let us get over to Bethlehem as fast as we can and see for ourselves. They said, let us get over to Bethlehem as fast as we can. The Bible says in the message version, they left running. They left running. They left running. They left running. That means they hurried down. You are going to pray tonight. I say, Father, Lord God Almighty, as many as you will give instructions to help my children, as many as you will give instruction to support my children, as many as you will give instruction to elevate my children, they will not be able to rest. They will run, they will hurry down until they find my children, until they help my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, the shepherds, the Bible says they agreed, they stood together and they decided that they will hurry down. They will hurry down. They will run down and they will find the Savior. Father, I decree tonight all the help you have prepared, all the allocation you have reserved for my children. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus that they that will help my children will not be able to sit. They will not be able to rest until they have helped them. They will rush down. They will hurry down. They will hasten down in the mighty name of Jesus until they have helped my children, until they have given my children the due support, until they have given my children that do help. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray tonight. I say they that will help my children, they will go with speed. They will go faster. In the name of Jesus, they that will support my children, they will go with speed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. I watched the video a while ago. In this particular video, you know what happened? A particular gentleman was praying for help. And we saw in that video that they that were supposed to help him they had been tied down. They themselves had been in bondage. This gentleman prayed and said, Lord, where are my helpers? Show me my helper. And do you know what? The Lord opened his eyes and he saw his helpers. And the helpers, the people who were supposed to help him, the people who were supposed to lift him up, the people who were supposed to hold his hands, these themselves were tied up. You're going to pray right now. I say, Father, I decree tonight, in the name of Jesus, all the destiny helpers you have allocated to my children, wherever they are in life, I start to release them in the name of Jesus, that they will achieve the purpose, they will go forward now, and they will do that for which you have created them. In the name of Jesus, every destiny helper that is allocated to my son, hiding in the world, wherever you have been held back right now, in the name of Jesus, I break the chain and I release you. I decree you are free. In the name of Jesus, you are free to locate my son. You are free to offer him help. In the mighty name of Jesus, the destiny helper that is allocated to my daughter. In the name of Jesus, I release you right now. From wherever you are hiding, from wherever you are, you are wasting away. In the name of Jesus, I release you right now. In the name of Jesus, destiny help us. I look it to my children. In the name of Jesus, I release you from where you are hiding. I say be free even to fulfill your purpose in my children's lives. In the name of Jesus, destiny help us. I look it to my husband. In the name of Jesus, I release you from wherever you are hiding, wherever you are being held down. In the name of Jesus, I break you loose. I break you free tonight. In the name of of Jesus we have prayed. Every destiny helper that is allocated to me in the name of Jesus, I break you free tonight. I say wherever you're tied down, I break you free. In the name of Jesus we have prayed. I decree regarding you, my son, they that are meant to help you, wherever they're tied down, I release them right now. In the name of Jesus, you, my daughter, they that are meant to help you, they that are meant to assist you, in the name of Jesus, wherever they're tied down, I release them tonight. I command in the name of Jesus that they are free to help you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now that they have been released, you are going to give them speed towards your children. Say, in the name of Jesus, 
I give you speed. I give you speed. I give you speed. In the name of Jesus, you that are meant to help my children, you that are designed to help my children in the future, I give you speed towards my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, I give you speed right now. You that is meant to help my children, even when they're due to get a job, when they're due to get married, when they're looking for accommodation, when they're supposed to be moving from one country to the other, they that are meant to help my children, I give you speed in the name of Jesus. I say you will not be delayed, you will not be hindered. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. There are many things that God has told us regarding our children. But you know what happens? At times as mothers, we, we, we get a bit confused. Maybe because of the things happening around us. Maybe God has spoken to you. God has told you that this particular child is going to go in this direction. And suddenly that child starts to misbehave. You don't know what to do anymore. You don't know what to believe anymore. You start to ask questions. You say, God, this is a child that is meant to do, supposed to stand out in the family. How come he's the one that is messing up? Do you know what happened? The Bible says that the shepherds went to Mary and they told Mary what the angels had said. You're going to pray tonight, my dear sisters, and say, Father, for that time in life, when I need a little confirmation, when my heart is weary, when I'm pushed to the point of giving up regarding my children, Father, you will send confirmation. You will send a confirmation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I begin to pray tonight. Father, Lord God Almighty, for every step of my children's life, for every step of my son's life, when his behavior, when his attitude, when his results are challenging, I pray, Lord God Almighty, you will send me comfort. You will send me confirmation in the name of Jesus from the mouth of trusted people. Father, you will send me confirmation. I pray, Lord God Almighty, regarding my daughter. When, Lord God Almighty, what I'm seeing does not seem to be consistent with what you have told me. You will send me confirmation. You will send me a clear word. You will send me a reassurance in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I cannot travel this journey alone. You are the one who is helping me. You gave me this job. You gave me this responsibility. I'm working in line with you. And for this reason tonight, I decree, Lord God Almighty, that the power in the name of Jesus, I say, Lord, you will carry me when my strength is failing. Even when my strength is not failing, you will carry me through this journey. You will carry me through this journey. You will carry me through this journey. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Do you know one thing I found out? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna finish quickly, uh, shortly. But there's something I found out in that particular scripture that caught my attention, my sisters. Do you know what it is? Joseph had to do something that was not usual. Joseph had to take a step that was not something that a lot of people would do. I'll, I'll share what, what he did with you. It happened that Joseph had to go to the census. And in the census, you had to go there as a family. Joseph took the woman he was engaged to be married to. Joseph took on a child that did not belong to him. And it was funny because at the end of the day, Joseph took a stand. And that stand was atypical. It was something that was not usual. At times, our fathers need to take a stand that is not usual. Jesus Christ was released into that family for a purpose. I want us to spend the next five minutes to pray for our husbands, the heads of our homes. It is important that a man knows where to go. Jesus Christ had to be born in that particular time. Jesus Christ had to be born in that particular city. Jesus Christ had to be born at that particular season. We're going to pray tonight and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for my husband. Because a lot of instructions, a lot of decisions are made. And that, that leads our children towards their place and possession in life. These choices are made by husbands. You are going to pray tonight and say, Father, whether the decision is popular or not, you will help my husband. Father, to make the right choices regarding the children, to make the right decision regarding the children, you will help my husband. You will direct my husband. In the mighty name of Jesus, he will make the right choice at the right time. In the name of Jesus. Because even when it's got to do with location, where we go, where we settle, has a lot to do with the dominion we can have. Father, I pray tonight, you will strengthen my husband. Whether the decision is popular or not, you will help him. You will help my husband, Lord. In 
the name of Jesus, his decisions will be in line with your word. His decision will be in line with your choice. His decisions will be in line with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Father, I pray for my husband. Whether the decision looks popular or it you will help him in the mighty name of Jesus. You will help him in the mighty name of Jesus. You will help him in the mighty name of Jesus. You alone, O oh Lord, will instruct him. You alone, O oh Lord, will direct him. You alone, O oh Lord, will take to go in the mighty name of Jesus. He will walk in your will, he will walk in your way, even in making his choices regarding our family. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you for tonight. Thank you, Lord, because you always hear us. It doesn't matter whether it seems so tonight or it doesn't seem so. We have laid a foundation. Father, tonight we're standing in agreement with you. The Bible says that God made man in his own image and he gave them an instruction to multiply, to dominate, to have dominion. Father, because our children are born in line with you, because our children are made in your image. Tonight we stand in agreement with you and we decree that our children, as they walk in your image, Lord, they have dominion. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree that life will not dominate our children. Our children will dominate life. In the mighty name of Jesus, our children will not be victims of circumstances. They will not be victims of failure. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we stand in agreement with and we decree, Lord, every land you have given our children, they are walking into it, they are taking steps, they are having hold in the mighty name of Jesus, because we know, Lord God Almighty, that only your plan and purpose for our children shall stand. For this reason, we decree and we declare tonight, we say our you are molded in the image of God, you walk in the knowledge of God, and you fulfill the purpose of God for your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says, as he is, so are we in this world. For this reason, I decree regarding you, my children, I say you have dominion, you do not fail at anything you put your hands upon. Father, I stand in agreement with my sisters who are connected to this light tonight, and we decree in the name of Jesus, our children, you they have express passage through life. In the name of Jesus, when many are saying that there is a pulling down, our children will have a testimony of a supernatural lifting. In the name of Jesus, Father, we stand in agreement with you. We say, Lord God Almighty, we send a joyful announcement along and ahead of our children. In the name of Jesus, everywhere our children will turn to a lie. We decree, Lord, they have a joyful announcement that precedes them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree, Lord, by the time men are starting to struggle, our children have gone through because Lord God Almighty, you send an announcement ahead of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we decree tonight by the power in the name of Jesus, we say our children, we locate them and we place in great places in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Father, every destiny helper that you have allocated to our children, Father, as you did, you gave merit to Jesus, to nurture and to birth. Father, I decree Right. In agreement with my sisters, Lord God Almighty, every destiny helper, every destiny carrier that will carry our children, that will carry their vision with them, that will support them. Father, we begin to find, we allocate to our children, great destiny helpers, in the mighty name of Jesus, men and women who will support our children, who will stand with them in the name of Jesus to achieve the great places that you have for them in life. We receive for our children in the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying. And we are decreeing tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. We say every helper that will follow our children through, that will not drop them halfway. We receive in the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying. Father, we are aware that in life, it doesn't matter how successful one is, there will be enemies. We decree tonight in the name of Jesus, every man, every woman who has made themselves an enemy to our children's purpose, to our children's destiny. Father, tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus, we wipe them out, we remove them from the path of our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, as many of them as will not yield to the purpose and will stand as a hindrance. Father, we wipe them out without mercy. In the name of Jesus, we decree tonight. We say, Lord God Almighty, we stand in agreement with you. Nothing shall be able to hinder our children from your purpose for their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we are agreeing with you tonight because the Bible says that after the shepherds heard 
The Bible says that after the shepherds heard, they rushed out. They hastened out. We decree, Lord, tonight, the help that you have allocated to our children. We decree that that help will rush towards our children. It will hasten to go out towards our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree tonight as mothers, because you have made us custodians of these destinies. We say, Lord, every help that you have prepared, every help you have allocated to our to our children, Father, we decree, we hasten towards them. In the mighty name of Jesus, per adventure, there are helps that you have arranged that are currently locked away, hidden away tonight, we break the tombs. We break the chains that hold this help. We release them. In the mighty name of Jesus, every help that is due our children, that is held back in bondage, anywhere in the world, we break them loose. We break them loose. We break them loose. We release them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, tonight, the help that you are prepared, even for me as a mother, wherever it is hiding, wherever it has been held back, in the world. Father, we release them. We release them tonight. We release them tonight. We release them tonight. We release them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Father, we decree tonight the help you have prepared for our husbands. Whenever they are being held back, anywhere in the world, we release them. We break the hold. We break the chain that is holding them back. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Father, we stand in agreement with you. And I stand in agreement with my sisters tonight. I said between now and the next six weeks, we decree upon this altar, every help that has been delayed will appear and will move with speed. In the name of Jesus, we decree for our household between now and the next six weeks, every help that has been delayed, we decree that the break loose from where they are hiding, from where they are held back, and they walk towards us, move towards us with speed. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Father, we decree tonight, the help you have arranged for us will be targeted towards us. The same way the angels gave a clear description. He said, a child wrapped in a blanket, in a manger, it was so easy to find. Father, we decree tonight, the help you have arranged for us will find it easy to find us. We'll find it easy to find our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, we receive for our children the right description, the perfect description that it will be easy for help to find our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, it will be easy for help to locate our children. It will be easy for help to find our children. It will be easy for help us to locate our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Father, we want to pray that you will help us. When we grow tired, when we grow weary as mothers, you will send encouragement to us. Mary got her encouragement really early. The Bible says that she listened and she took in all that the shepherd said. Father, tonight I am asking for myself and all my sisters and even the fathers who are connected to this prayer line tonight. When our children, when we look at them and the results that we're getting, is not consistent with what you have spoken to us. Father, we ask for a reassurance from above, for a reassurance from above, for confirmation from above, for comfort from above, in the mighty name of Jesus, that our children, Lord, we will see you in them. It doesn't matter what results we're saying, we will see you in our children. We will see you in our children, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless and we exalt you. We thank you because you're a faithful God. Thank you for the privilege we have even to pray tonight. We exalt your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Our sisters, I want to thank you so much for joining in tonight. It's been wonderful praying with you. I'm believing God that in the next, in um, a fortnight, we will be continuing these prayers. I think there's still quite a few things that the Lord wants us to pray about. And when we finish that, we will be praying specific prayers for our sons for two weeks. And after that, we bring specific prayers for our daughters for two weeks. That is how the Lord will have us do it. I just want to use this opportunity to invite my sisters who are based in the United States, who are based in Texas. By God's grace, on the 25th of November, we're going to be meeting in Houston. We're going to be praying 
as we are praying tonight, the Lord has given us a word. The theme for that meeting is pleasant places. Psalm 16 verse 6. Join us by God's grace. The meeting will be holding at RCCG El Shaddai Chapel, 4800 West 34th Street, Suite A1, Houston, Texas, 77092. By God's grace, find us and join us. And for my sisters who are based in the United Kingdom, by God's grace, we'll be meeting by His grace on the 9th of December, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Five hours retreat in the presence of the Lord. We'll be meeting at the Ackland Burgley School, number 93, Burgley Road, NW51UJ. If you have any questions about any one of these meetings, please feel free to drop me an email. It's thy precious jewels at googlemail.com. It's been wonderful praying with you tonight. And I trust the Lord will keep you and will keep your household. I look forward to praying with you again, same time in a fortnight. God bless you. And as many people as have access to internet, join us tomorrow as we pray for an hour on Kent's Christian Radio. God bless you. Have a good night.